solved it all. The main goal is to depopulate Africa. Ideally, 75% of them must be eliminated, then the continent will be colonized again. For its wealth. Under the guise of being helpful of course. Population reduction. When one of the wealthy people mentions overpopulation, the fact that the earth is struggling and needs relief. The population that must be decreased is Africa. That there my friend is a clue for you. Listen carefully, and hear who is advocating for depopulation. Now you know which team they are playing for. Africa is huge, and Africa has more than enough resources to care for all its people, but that is not how the world is made to see it. Laboratory created viruses and all sorts of sicknesses, are being created every day, genetically modified to kill Africans. There are scientists hired for that sole purpose. Obey without questioning or lose it all. When it comes to Africa, the plan is to create the problems for them, step up and offer to help, then make it worse for them. Devalue their monetary systems, offer them assistance, then pile up so much interest that they can never be able to repay, then declare their money junk. Declare them to be third world countries, with all that wealth beneath their earth. Declare their minds depleted and unstable, then shut them down. I know all about this one, I am a part of the group that came up with this strategy. Those minds are alive, but, they must lie vacant for now. All the big corporations are to be moved out of the African continent. I told you that it doesn't get better for the unfavorables, the plan is to make the situation dire. South Africa, is called the backbone and the notion is, close shop down there and the war is won. How many times has the attempt to downgrade South Africa, and its money to junk status? War was planned for South Africa, and somehow that plan failed, it failed utterly and completely at the last second, that, 